Hello people. The start of Stewart's Park. Let's see what we can bump into. Half decent day. Half decent day if you wrapped up. It's a little bit of wind. And yeah, it's nice for a stroll. Nice Stewart's Park. And there's Esther Nils in the background if you can see. Take a walk up there one day with the kids very soon. So that is the beginning. Stewart's Park, Martin Road entrance. As you can see there's lots of space. Oh, gorgeous park it is. Nice museum, Captain Cook. Oh yeah. Pause this for now. And we can see see a bit of it better. Some walkers. Oh well, yeah, I think I'll pause this for now. I'll get back to you shortly up the path. I'm back again. As you can see, we're halfway up this path now. Well, probably a third of the way. What I'm doing this on is my phone, my Samsung Galaxy, I think it is. Trying to get a bit more clued up. There's a little boating lake, or lake, I should say. Pond. I've got a story about that. About when I first fetched my daughter into the park here. I was doing some sort of survey. And we said, um, what do you think, how we think, think we could do the park better? And that was one of the suggestions that um, we put in, me and my daughter. And they cleared it all out, all the way around. It's all brand new now. So I can another walk up this path, still a while to go. Back soon. Back again, people. This is just coming to the end of um, the path. There's loads of paths, like your normal parks. Little hideaway thing over there through them trees. And we'll go this way. Captain Cook Museum up there. Let's have a look, see what's down here. Oh, yes. Dodgy screw, right? go. Oh, I do like a bench, as you'll get to find out. <laughs> Supposedly, just beyond them arches here to this side, to the right, used to be a big massive greenhouse. People in the borough will know about it. There's the Dorman's Museum. Uh, I'm just going to pause it for a second. People, back again. As you can see, I'm from the other side of where I was. I'm just going to show you a little something. Go down this path here. Wait till you see this. So I'll just show you this first. There's Captain Cook's monument, just there on the grass there. If you go up to it, it's a little bit muddy. Go up to it, it says this is Captain Cook's birthplace, but really it's not. So, me and my kids told people that come and visit it where his real birthplace was, his real house, his cottage. This is where 
it was replaced after Time Team came put it here where really his house is over there just where that lady is there walking up somewhere around there where they did the dig I do believe and they replaced the stone here and never put it back in the original place my kids were babies we did a, deep, um, a dig over there for archaeological stuff because that's where the big wet um, greenhouse was supposed to have been so me and the kids did that but anyway let's get back to this come and have a look at my kids tree Kids have been climbing up this tree since they were babies. My boys are 12 and my daughter's... No, my boys are 13, I mean. <laughs> and my daughter's 14, look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous tree? For boys and girls to climb up. Been up them, been up them branches. Gorgeous that, eh? It's a good tree to climb that. It is a good climbing yeah. tree, that one. That's the one, guys. Dolls. I must admit, I did get a bit scary when I was along that branch there. <laughs> or that tree, I should say. guys and dolls anyway that's mine and the kids tree Middlesbrough Stewart's Park come and check it out if you're in the area give a bit of info about the um, monument of James Cook my nan used to go and visit a tree as well in Sherwood, Sherwood Forest that was meant to be um, Robin Hood's tree I don't know if anybody's been there but yeah, that's all we don't get rid of it. it. Stands here for a few more years. Seems to be falling everywhere off just now. If that's the right word. Cutting everything down in these parks, all the hedges and everything. No hidey places for the tow rags. Right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Speak again, seasiders.